all yes and that federal legislation although detailed discussion of federal legislation is beyond the scope of the manual yes two significant um, uh, well, I can't really read it. Let me see. Enactments, uh, merit discussion, U.S. Code 18, U, uh, 18 U.S. Code 922-G8. <laughs> a person who is subject to a court order issued for the protection of an intimate partner cannot possess a firearm or ammunition if the order... <laughs> now, this is federal legislation was issued after a hearing. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, at which the respondent had actual notice and opportunity to participate. <laughs> Restrains a person from harassing, stalking, and threatening an intimate partner, otherwise placing the intimate partner in reasonable fear of bodily injury or bodily <laughs> injury of a child. <laughs> Includes the finding that the person restrained represents a credible threat to an intimate partner or child or by the terms explicitly prohibits the use, attempted use, or threatened use of physical force against an intimate partner or child. <laughs> now this, uh, this uh, federal legislation, yes, mm -hmm. it has that notice and an opportunity uh, to be heard. Yes. I think it violates the actual federal legislation about uh, having the right to keep and bear arms. Pooch. Then it, it violates numerous uh, constitutional rights. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, or, oh, well, you didn't give me notice in 2000. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, you're going to get sued for violating that federal legislation. <laughs> now, uh... Just kind of going through this, no contact orders, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there was one big question I had, the scope of the no contact order, it's actually a protection order, but they have these restrictions about, ooh, possessing firearms, <laughs> scope of the protection order, oh, felony violations, <laughs> the act violates the order issued for assault, uh-huh. Now, a uh, valid protection order such as defined in RCW 26.52.02 is an assault not amounting to an assault in the first or second degree or is an act that is reckless or creates substantial risk or death or phys serious physical injury. Yes. You know, I had to know, and I looked at those nine A's, yes, last night, and what is first and second degree assault? Pooch. <coughs> I thought we should look at it this morning because these these domestic violence violations, yes, since I wasn't there and you gave us a traffic citation and then you decided you would not do a mandatory arrest <laughs> while I was in Port Angeles, Washington on December 31st, how I could be in swim in Port Angeles at the same time <laughs> seems impossible. Yes, it does. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm just kind of wanting to look at uh, these first and second degree assaults. <laughs> I found out last night that there's four degrees of assault, and I, as I look at it, it, it actually involves an actual assault. Pooch! <laughs> Now, uh, you, you have to touch the individual. <laughs> now, the first, oh, ooh, well, you would say verbal assault is fourth degree assault. <laughs> now, I just wanted to know, <laughs> these restraint provisions that I didn't violate in Squim, Washington, and I didn't violate in Brendan, Washington, yes, I'm still going to court. Is that what I'm doing? Now, uh, the nine A's, pooch. I really liked having this available to me. Oh, oh, oh. Now, third degree assault. If you if you go to page, oh, mm-hmm. Page 30, yes. Uh -huh. It says, except for uh, assaults, a uh, judicial court uh, officer, wait, it licensed under so on and so forth. Um, that would be, hang on. There are certain first, second, and third degree, yes. <laughs> Now, effective, uh, well, I'm not in a hurry. Assaults in the third degree, yes. <laughs> Assaults in the second degree, oh. Look at right here, page 27 of the nine A's. Assault in the first degree, second degree, third degree, and fourth degree. <laughs> now, except for first degree, yes, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Assault in the first degree would be a person is guilty of assault in the first degree if he or she with intent to inflict great bodily harm with a firearm or any deadly weapon pooch inflicts a great bodily harm. assault in the first degree is a class A felony. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Now, except for first and second degree assault, right, uh-huh. 
is uh, a person is guilty of assault in the second degree if he or she under circumstances not amounting to assault in the first degree mm -hmm. uh, commit a felony assaults another knowingly inflicts a bodily harm assault in the second degree with a, a finding of sexual motivation yes is a class a felony it looks like the class a felonies are excluded from the definition yes now there's there's a class uh a felony ranked to oh, findings, a legislative finds assault and strangulation result in mobilization. Yes. Assault in the third degree. Yes. <laughs> With the intent to prevent or uh, resist the execution under being a lawful process or mandate of any court officer, a lawful apprehension or detention of himself. <laughs> Uh, those that drive buses, uh, you would be guilty of assault in the third degree. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you obstructed their official duties. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, assaults a school bus driver with criminal negligence, bodily harm, uh, assaults a law enforcement officer, assaults a peace officer with a projectile, stun gun, or something along those lines, assaults a judicial officer, a court-related <laughs> employee, county clerk, or county clerk's employee. Pooch. Now, you would be guilty of assault in the third degree, and that would violate the protection order. Yes, it would! <laughs> Now, I know uh, assaults a person located in a courtroom. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See, they have a very specific uh, definition. Now, assault in the third degree is a Class C felony. Oh, uh, now, the assault in the fourth degree, yes. Mm -hmm. A person is guilty of assault in the fourth degree if, under circumstances not amounting to assault in the first, second, or third degree, <laughs> or not custodial assault, uh, he or she assaults another. <laughs> assault is in a, fourth, a gross misdemeanor. <laughs> it's kind of like me getting in a fight with somebody that's not an employee of the courts, not a bus driver, or those that are oaths of office. <laughs> yes, let's say I was upset at some citizen. I was in a bar drinking too much, and I got in a fight. Yes, it'd be a gross misdemeanor. Ouch! <laughs> now... Uh, pooch. And then there's the drive-by shooting, and I haven't done that. Pooch. Now, I just wanted to know exactly what assault in the third or fourth degree, but it can't be the third degree because it happened in some location in Squim, Washington, or Brennan, Washington. <laughs> Did the individual that allegedly, the criminal allegation, violate the protection order? Was it an assault? <laughs> because unless uh, whomever committed the crime actually touched touched the uh the p p p petitioner yes i'm thinking that all these court hearings that have a, a serious crime per se pooch if they didn't involve assault in the fourth degree the actual intention of afflicting great bodily harm ouch